good YouTube. This is your girl Alicia, and I'm back with another video. So my face breaking out. Uh, that's not cute. But anyways, so I want to talk about the first time I actually like went to a dude's apartment that I was dating. So <laughs> I was dating this one dude for like two years didn't know where he lived nothing like i was just i didn't know nothing so he was like hey you want to come over to my house and i'm like oh, okay cool yeah i'll come over to your house so you know i pull up and everything you know get to the gate you know he gave me the code came in he he was in a nice apartment complex not gonna lie it was it was really nice it was like all uppity and stuff and you know, everybody was waving at you and stuff when you pass by. And you're like, oh, okay. Okay. So, I walk in and it's like, first of all, that apartment was spotless. Like, completely spotless. Like, it wasn't a crumb on the floor. Nothing. <laughs> like, everything was like shiny and everything. It's like, he literally went through his apartment and cleaned it up. Like, it was spotless. It smelled good. He had candles lit, everything. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, he, so I'm saying to myself, like, I think he lit those candles and cleaned up for me. But I wasn't sure at that moment, you know. I was like, oh, maybe he just did that for me because he knew I was coming. So, it was just like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. So, I walked in and you know he's like hey babe how you doing and i was like i'm good how are you doing and so we were just having a general conversation so we went to his bedroom straight to his bedroom like he didn't waste no time so you know that awkward stage when y'all sitting on the bed and you're like all shy and stuff so you like in the corner sitting on the corner of the bed and he's like in the bed sitting in the back and you just like you know just acting like you really watching tv but you don't care what's going on on the television but you just like have to play it off yeah so i had to do one of those numbers so i'm sitting there like okay you know like uh, you know i'm so innocent and this and that so i'm on a corner and he's looking at me he was like you know he was like it's okay like you can relax you know sit back or whatever so you know i'm like oh, okay you know so i sat back and stuff and you know i actually like backed up to the headboard because i was like right there on the edge of the bed like if he would have kicked me i would have fell off <laughs> like that's how close i was to the edge it's not like i was nervous or nothing but i'm just like you know when you meet somebody and you finally go to their place for the first time you just kind of like okay you just scoping everything out so you like okay cool so you know I actually sat back to the headboard. We had a conversation. We're talking, you know. He's like, you thirsty? You hungry? I mean, just being so sweet and polite. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a little thirsty. I'm, you know, kind of hungry, whatever. And he was like, all right, let me go ahead and kick you something. Yeah, I said, kick you some, cook you something. <laughs> and so we go in the kitchen and, you know, he's in there. He pull out all his pots and pans. <laughs> First of all, the pots and pans look brand new. Like, they didn't even have a scratch on them. So, I'm like, okay. And I, so, I was like, so you cook all the time? He's like, yeah, I cook all the time. And I'm like, oh. I was like, oh, all right. You know, cool. Pots and stuff was spotless. So, I'm just like, you know, maybe he's just the type of man that just take care of his stuff. So, cool. So, you know, he goes in there and he cooks a little meal. You know, he cooks a meal for me. And then, you know, he brings out wine glasses. And he's like, you want some wine? And I'm like, cool, I could have some wine. And he was like, you want red or white? I'm just like, red is fine. Like, red wine is cool for me. So, excuse me. So, he pulls out the red wine. You know, we sipping on wine, talking, having a great conversation, like, and it was cool so i like kind of loosened up a little bit we went to the living room we sat on the couch we're talking you know a little bit more having a conversation and this and that you know then you know later on you know we kind of made out but pff, that was later like everything was like nice it was like a very good first time coming to my man's you know place i was really shocked because at first you know some men are not as clean as others so, you know, when you expect to come to your man's house, you expect the PlayStation and stuff to be all over the floor, you know, shoes thrown in the corner, you know, maybe clothes on the floor. You expect it to be a little dirty. 
something. Like, I not necessarily dirty, but, like, I don't expect to see at least a pair of shoes on the floor. No. Like, he had everything was spotless. Like, <laughs> color coordination was going for his shoes. It went from, like, white to black literally and then on top of all of that i went his restroom was spotless clean toilet clean tub clean like everything was nice and i'm just like wow like like his apartment was cleaner than some females apartments that i've been in and i'm just like ooh, boo like he didn't have nothing on the floor everything was clean he you know his vacuum cleaner was even in the corner all nice. His little laundry room was clean. Like, his supply cabinets was clean. I went through all his stuff. Because I'm just like, you know, <laughs> I'm here. Might as well. Everything was just, like, spotless. And I'm just like, wow. Like, he really takes care of his shit. Like, hmm. Kudos to him, you know, for being this clean. Like, but I kind of figured it in a sort of a way because his car would stay clean. Like, he would always have his car smelling good. He constantly take his car to the car wash. So, I'm just like, you know, I don't even take my car to the car wash that much. I mean, are you supposed to go every week? You know, your car's supposed to look nice and stuff. But uh, sometimes it's every two, three weeks. I mean, one time I didn't even wash my car for a month. I was being real lazy that time. But, you know, whatever. I didn't wash it for a month. And you can tell I didn't wash it for the month. But then it rained. So, like... <laughs> it looked like it was clean <laughs> that's trifling but okay it rained okay and it looked like it was clean it was no sense to me taking it to the car wash and it was raining so that was a waste of time but yeah so my first experience was cool like it was nice you know since then i've been to like other dudes you know places and everything but some of my ex-boyfriends and none of none of their apartments was like his like his was like perfect clean and i'm just like wow but anyways make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to me and thank you to all my subscribers that's been watching my video supporting your girl okay and enjoy your day i need some love i need some love i need some love